were smooth within the therapeutic window. Ito yung engine generics, in and out. Yun ang problem sa atin, marami na kasi nagpasok ka ng engine generics in the market. And sometimes the quality will be in suspicion. In fact, sa Manila, nakakita ako ng pharmacy. Siguro engine generics. Ito yung pangalan. Kembot. 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 Kembot Pharma. Pinay na pinay yung dating na. So, yan. So, ganun yung pharma nila sa Manila. So, anyways, sa modified release, sa modified release na vast na nila, ito yung modified release. Hydrophilic matrix, trimetazid dependence, control release. Okay? Sabi ni Dr. Abarquez, vast trimetazid is already generic, may ka-generic na siya. Pero yung modified release, original pa yan sa survey. So, yung MR ng ibang trimetazid, yung ibang MR yan. Because this is the original MR, still patented sa survey. That's the original modified release. In fact, yung very modified release, Versus the original trimetazidine. Three times a day pa yung original, right? The trimetazidine. So, mas maganda pa rin yung coverage ng MR compared to sa original Vastra and TID. But you can still use the TID for patients with NG. By the way, still available yung Vastra and TID. So, again, re reminder lang that in terms of therapeutic equivalence, if you need to substitute, make sure it has all time FDA criteria. Unfortunately, in the Philippines, bioequivalent lang daw pwede. But FDA criteria dapat all fine. Because generic equivalence does not guarantee therapeutic equivalence. Sometimes my patients, this is not an anti-generics uh, uh, lecture, but we just want to point out that you have to make sure in a patient with ischemic heart disease, which is potentially life-threatening, make sure that it works. Because if it doesn't work, it's more expensive. Right? The most expensive treatment is a drug that will not work to make sure it works. At piso yan, if it's not working, it's more expensive. So here is the, so this is the, re the summary of what I presented to you. Vastaran increases by 33% the energy to the ischemic heart. So 33% elevation the energy ATP provided. It protects the cells against ischemia, it reduces angina pain, and it preserves LV function or ejection function. Ultimately leading to patient prognosis. So yan ang role ng primetacity in a patient with ischemic heart disease and heart failure. So ultimately, as I presented to you, ischemia is an energy deficit problem. So bottom line, it will brown out in a heart with ischemia. And Vastarel uh, helps in this condition by improving, the, by blocking the free fatty acid metabolism because it wastes oxygen and shifting it to the more efficient glucose fatty. In heart failure, high adrenergic cis acid re release or catecholamines waste energy and leads to damage of mitochondria. A very recent uh, mechanism for Vastarel is it protects mitochondria from death. So very recent yet. At a 30 year old drug, ang alam niya na may recent findings ang ngayon. So findings ng last year. So that is why for optimal care, more energy can be provided through metabolic modulation if you use trepidacity in patients with skin heart disease and heart failure. So again, to balance off to increase more energy in a patient's ischemic heart disease, uh, it's very important to uh, give uh, Vastanel to patients with angina and heart failure. I think that's the last time. Thank you very much for your attention. And I'd like to applaud for any questions or anything you'd like to, to, yeah, to clarify. Yes. Microphone. Good afternoon. Uh, good evening, Doctor. Uh, just out of curiosity, Doctor, um, how about for patients uh, where vasopressin-induced uh, ischemia um, can we also give trimetazidine? And if so, uh, for how long? Okay, very good. More than I mo natin yung mechanism ng vasospasa. So vasospasa and giant or Prince Metal Angina yan, right? Many times pa rin, by statistics, it's still connected with obstructive coronary lesions. Yun ang most common pa rin. So may vasus spasm, pero connected pa rin siya with obstruction, coronary obstruction. Usually the spasm though happens near the stenotic area. So yun yung most of the time. Pero I agree with you, there are some patients na purely vasus spastic, but that's more rare. More common pa rin yung may kasamang obstructive lesions. So pag obstructive lesions, tapos may vasus spasm, Pareho yung treatment. You treat with hemodynamic drugs. Diba? You can give patients, usually, mas bagay dyan yung mga deltaiazem. Yung mga dyan, yung mga dihydrogeridine, calcium channel blockers, para hindi masyado magspasa. 
But at the same time, since schema is present, you may give a metabolic term. So anything that induces schema, di ba naalala mo yung, yung Copernican Revolution? Anything that induces schema, even if there's no critical coronary stenosis, may role yung metabolic agent. Kasi nga, the metabolic agent works on the cell, not on the blood supply. Not necessarily. Because a lot of ischemic heart disease nga, yun, that's what I pointed out at the start, hindi necessarily blood supply problem. Like yung vasospasm, hindi naman blood supply problem yun. nag spasm yung coronary, is very blood supply is okay. Right? So, in this set, ang ultimate end point is the myocyte. That's why the, a metabolic drug works on the myocyte, works on the end point. Yeah, it protects the cell from bottom line. So, in, even anemia, for example, anemia can induce chemo. Right? So, hindi naman siya blood supply, but oxygen carrying capacity yung problem. But ultimately, ischemia pa rin yun. So, you want to protect the heart from that. condition because anemia can induce patients to MI in severe cases. So you want the myocyte to be protected. So to answer your question, yes, you can use trimetazine ultimately to protect your myocyte. Any other questions? Ang balita ko, marami daw sa inyo nagmamanage ng diabetes. Dito sa, I don't know, diabetes is very common already even in this place, right? So, in this case. So, so, diabetes naman, for example, let me just highlight. Marami na akong studies for trimetazine dito on, on diabetes. In fact, it's another lecture altogether. So, hiwalay na lecture na naman yung diabetes. But let me just cite to you. Notice nila, in patients with diabetes, when they were given Vastana, gumaganda ang HbA1c, tapos tumataas ang HDL. Two problems of diabetic patients, right? Sugar control, and mababa yung HDL, mataas ang triglyceride. So, in patients who were given trimetazine, they may improve pareho yun. They know that. At the same time, in patients with diabetes, did you know that based on the studies, patients with diabetes are equivalent already to patients with heart attacks? Kasi na-monitor na nila yan eh. Pareho ang outcome. Patient A may diabetes, walang heart attack. Patient B walang diabetes, pero nagka-heart attack. Pareho yung mortality nila. Mortality rates are the same. So that is why having a heart diabetes is almost equivalent to having a heart attack already in terms of outcome. That is why if diabetes becomes a cardiovascular equivalent, then meron ka ng indication to protect the artery one in patients with diabetes. So you know yung findings nila sa mga diabetes. So you may want to give uh, a drug that protects the heart from ischemia because diabetes is already a ischemia equivalent for cardiovascular. So you want to give it early on for your heart protection. I think I ang ang pinaka best evidence ko yan. Pag isa side ko na expert is using yan. Of course, Dr. Ricardo Fernando. You've heard him lecture already. So he's of course one of the most experts in diabetes in the Philippines. And he's had very extensive experience in using trimetazine. It's one of the early diabetes to use trimetazine in his studies, and it was shown in the in the lab of his. Another thing I'd like to clarify regarding the role of trimetazine. Doctor. So for how long do you? Uh, for how long do you give uh, faster and MR in the cases of ischemic heart disease? That's my first question. And if you give uh, patients with ischemic heart disease. Uh, uh, <coughs> also takes uh, clopidogrel. Is, uh, is the effect synergistic? Okay. Salamat po for that question, Dr. Yun yung, yung trimetazidine again, based on the lecture that I just gave you, the moment you you already have uh, 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 the presence of ischemia, may ischemic condition na yung patient po. Of course, myocardial ischemia. Uh, whether you have a strong suspicion already based on his symptoms, or you, you have it in evidence sa ECG, sa treadmill, sa echo, meron ka ng evidence sa ganun, you're already indicated to start the metabolic agent. In the past kasi, especially yung mga cardiologists, mga cardiologists, matitigas ang ulit. In the past kasi, yung cardiol, even ako when I started practice, I thought Vastarin was to be given for patients at the end lang. Pag malapit na mamatay, wala na akong mabigay, nabigay ko na lahat. So ito na lang, nagbigay natin Vastarin, baka for all its worth. Pero ngayon, based on the studies, we can give it very early. 
the moment we have we have the suspicion of skin yan, pwede mo na siyang ipambalan sa beta blocker, sa nitrate, sa, sa calcium channel blocker. So the moment you have the skin condition, then you give trimetazine. Unfortunately, for many of our patients, the ischemic condition persists. For example, pag na-bypass ka na, pag nag-MI ka na, pag na-angioplasty ka na, yung pasyente mo, andyan na yung ischemic condition. So, tama yung sinabi ng Dr. Lai. For many of these patients, you might want to give it extended period. So, matagal na ho yung magbigay. Parang tuloy-tuloy na ho yung bigay. And in a patient, for example, with diabetes, Dr. Di ba once a diabetic, always a diabetic? So the skin condition is already there. So you may want to protect your patient with diabetes. Tuli tuli mo na yung management. Kasi at diabetes will always be there. It will only just control it, pero hindi mo na siya maalis. So the risk will always be there for this patient. So you want a drug that protects your patient from that kind of risk. Tapos kasi sabi niyo talaga yung combination. So I agree with you. Magat you can combine it, doctor, with even clopidogrel or with other drugs. Kasi ng ako wala naman nung If I if I have this in it, I get asked this in this in lectures like this. Wala naman nung na tayo monotherapy ngayon. So even hypertension hindi mo monotherapy. Diabetes hindi mo monotherapy. So usually ngayon na may gamot kana sa diabetes, may gamot kana sa hypertension, may pang cholesterol, may mga ano kano, may mga may anti-blood kana. So patients with coronary artery disease at ischemic heart disease, ano na ulahan yun? So you want to combine it also with another medication. So you give it na rin with Epidemiol or aspirin, pwede po. Pwede po kasabay. Wala ko siyang contract. Yun yung isang maganda sa trimetacity. Wala ko siyang gamot na ka-interact. So hindi siya ko-contra with any medicines that you give for patients with skin heart. So you can give it along with many of these uh, drugs. Any other questions? Ano pa ang tanong? experience sa pastoral. Kayo ko pang mismo, may nakatry na ko ng pastoral. Dito. Si Doktor nakatry. Doktor nakatry ka na ng trimetazidine. May side effect.